guys, look, man, I was actually headed to the gym, and I, I couldn't believe. Somebody commented on a video I did of the Kevin Samuels talking about Will Smith and Jada. And so I, I didn't think it was real, right? And so I just watched this video, man. We're going to watch this shit together. I, I can't believe this shit happened, y'all. I, I cannot believe this happened. Crazy, crazy, crazy. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> That was, a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name out your fucking I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. Horrible. Horrible. I, I cannot believe what I just saw, you guys. Will Smith was probably the, I wish he was like my father at a point in my t in point of my life. I watched the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air religiously. I actually tried to emulate his character. And through the years, as I've gotten older, his character, the strength behind Will Smith, has just been dying. And with this, I'm going to, I can't hold it back, you guys. I know this is going to be demonetized, but I don't give a fuck at this point. Will Smith was a bitch for that move. A fucking bitch. This is the reason why, real quick, before y'all click off, I understand y'all don't like this shit. Listen, you, as a man, absolutely defend your wife. Absolutely. I give it up to him for defending his wife. But you know why he's a bitch for this? Let's rewatch the video, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys <clears throat> why he's a bitch, man. Will Smith, real quick. He has been, him and his family has been the laughing stock of society for the past five fucking years. And you know what he did? He put all that frustration out on Chris Rock. Chris Rock made a G.I. Jane joke. A fucking G.I. Jane joke. And you know what Will Smith did? He laughed at the joke. He laughed at the joke. And then he got up and fucking sucker punched Chris Rock. And then he started yelling from the sidelines like a fucking bitch. You a little pussy ass bitch for that shit, bro. I cannot believe he did that shit. It really makes me mad, man. It really makes me mad. You could do that in such a better way. I had a moment in my life, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, look, before we get back into the watching this video, I had I went to Cafe Brazil, right? So one time I went to Cafe Brazil, it was late as hell, man, I was tired, was with my girl, we ordered some food, the food ain't come out for an hour, I'm telling the server, I'm like, where's the fucking food at, where is it at, man? And she's like, just sit down, and I was like, you know what, here, just give me a refund, she's like, we're not going to give you a refund, I said, what the fuck you mean? I paid for the food, the food's not here Give me a refund, right? There was some orange juice on the counter. We got into it a little bit. And you, you know what I said? I said, you know what? Fuck you. Threw the juice all over the register, all over the back. Probably hit her too. She got pissed. I felt justified in the moment. After I left that situation, I realized I looked at myself. That was so immature. I could have handled that in a much better way. A, so much of a better way. I look like a fucking fool. This is what Will Smith just did. Fucking fool. Chris Rock should have actually came with guns blazing for how he sucker punched him. He should have talked about the fucking entanglement that Jada had with uh, August Alcina. He should have talked about the fucking, the, uh, what's his name? Jaden Smith. I almost forgot his fucking name. Jaden Smith acting like a fucking fool out here. He should have said some shit about that. He should have made a joke about that. G.I. Jane? Really? Really? G.I. Jane, out of all the shit that we've seen out here in society, all the shit going around on YouTube, I'm so angry at this because the way that Jada and Will Smith's relationship has been going downhill and just, just all this stuff, it's, it's, it's killed me. It's killed a little bit of myself because who I thought Will Smith was started to die and this 
put a nail in the coffin. Fucking nail in the coffin. I cannot believe this. And I know there's going to be a bunch of people out here supporting him for doing that shit. He could have... There's nothing... Once again, there's nothing wrong for defending your wife. The way he did that was some bitch shit. Bitch shit. He let society's pressure... All the negative shit that everyone's been saying, all the entanglements, all the red table talk, all the frustration was in that slap directed to Chris Rock, the wrong person. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> Praying that Will Smith wins, like please, Lord. Jacob. Chris Rock is even making a positive joke about Will Smith. I'm hoping Will Smith wins. We're wanting him to win. Look at Will Smith laughing here. I love you, GI Jane too. Can't wait to see it. All right. A fucking joke. I can't. I hope Will Smith wins this. And GI Jane. <laughs> Make fun of the haircut, you know. Got the little ball look. <laughs> look at him. Look at him. Why is he laughing at this? Why, Will? Why are you laughing at this? If it really hurts you in that moment, if you really felt some type of way about that, why the fuck are you laughing right now? <laughs> it's, that was a that was a nice one. Okay, I'm out here. Uh oh. Jada's got his. Balls in her fucking fist, clenching the motherfuckers hard, hard like it's a fucking stress ball. <laughs> weak, fucking weak, weak. Oh wow, wow. Look at him walking off like he's fucking. Uh, what was the name of the person he played on Bad Boys? Fuck out of here, nigga. You lost that car long ago, long ago. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Look <laughs> at name out your fucking mouth. Look at him. Look at him. Look like a little kid. Little ass kid. Little ass kid. Oh my god. Kanye West did a better job at fucking stopping the show and saying what he had to say than Will Smith did. Kanye fucking West. At least Kanye stood on stage and said what he believed. How you gonna sit on the sidelines talking this shit like this? Chris Rock just keeping the light, bringing laughter out into the crowd. Will Smith brought all the anger. Society has been saying negative about him and his family and put it in that slap towards Chris Rock. Will Smith a bitch. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. He my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I'm going to. Oh. I, I can't believe this, man. He sound like a little kid. Well. Okay. <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> oh. This is how I know Chris Rock is a fucking talented ass comedian how do you experience the wrath of a man who has no idea where to put it who has in a situation because we heard about this right we heard about this yeah yeah check this out the ellen episode is gone right we can't find it anywhere will smith said after he broke up with his ex-wife him and jada they were never going to split no matter what happened in their relationship they were never going to split and so you know what happened 10, 15 years later, you guys, this is the situation. This is the situation we have. Will Smith bringing the anger. I can't stress it enough, you guys. Chris Rock is an amazing, talented comedian to take all this rap and still flip it around and still keep the show rolling. Who knows? They might have had a good relationship outside of all this entertainment. I think this hurt Chris. It hurt me. I know it hurt Chris. I can't believe that you reacted this strongly on a joke like this. Seriously? You can't even joke anymore? What's going on about this? Will Smith, you used to do comedy. You used you still kind of make some of those raunchy, edgy jokes. This is what comedy's about. 
You walk the fine line of offending people, and that's what makes shit super funny. It's because you don't go all the way. Will Smith couldn't take a joke in this. Bitch made. Gone. I stand on it. I don't care what any of y'all say. Standing on that shit, man. Somebody's got to say it. One last thing before I go, you guys. We saw Will Smith laughing at this. I don't know if you saw the Will Smith when he was transforming his body in the fitness thing, but there was a point where the narrator said Will, one of Will Smith's biggest weaknesses and issues is that he laughs serious things off. He can't really face them, at least not in his state now. Maybe when he was younger, but he is not the guy he used to be. Jada Smith, she has kept it a hundred since day one. For the most part, and what I mean by that is she was so honest on how much Tupac meant to her in her life. She had said so many times had Tupac and she never, not once, backed down from those stances and that standpoint. She already did not like Chris Rock's joke about it. Will Smith laughed at it. I'm sure he looked over and saw the disapproval on his wife and he got up and thought he did what he felt like he had to do. And you know what? I can respect that the way he did it, bitch made. All the way. I'll leave it at that. And here's the deal. Let me say this one one last thing. I know I keep coming back, but it just keep shit just keep coming to my mind. This really just kind of reminded me of the black on black crime we have. And he, hear me out on this, you guys. Oftentimes we treat each other the worst over Hispanics, over white people. Some of the white, some of the black plantation owners were some of the worst slave masters ever. Some of the black cops treat you worse. When I was in Dallas, the Dallas County, those police officers looked at me like fucking an animal. And I had a suit on. Would he have done this if this was, insert a, a little dicky, insert a fucking white comedian? Would he have done the same thing? Would he have? Would he have came up with the same tenacity, ferocity? Chris Rock didn't deserve that. He did not deserve that. That's my final opinion.